Today we are going to be talking about infantry in Rise of Kingdoms and how to best set your infantry up. I am an infantry main player and so infantry is what I've been specializing in in Rise of Kingdoms. Lately I have been branching out into other types of commanders such as you know uh, archers and cavalry but I've been mainly focusing on infantry for a majority of the time I play at Rise of Kingdoms. So again today we are going to be talking about infantry and where you should be going with your infantry marches and what the best commanders pairings are going to be for your infantry. So first we are going to rank our infantry commanders from best to worst in terms of open field viability. We're not going to be talking about as much about garrisons or rallies but mostly open field fighting because that is what's going to be the most applicable for most people. If you guys want to see a more of a garrison or rally guide feel free to let me know down below in the comments and I will for sure make that video for you. So first of all, I think it's pretty obvious by what I have on the screen already, but Scipio Africanus Prime is going to be the number one overall pick for your infantry. If you are really wondering about what commander you should be focusing on the most for infantry, it's going to be Scipio. He is by far the best infantry commander in the game. Obviously, he is a little bit newer, which is kind of why he is so much better than the other infantry commanders but he is way, way, way better than any other option you are going to have available. Even better than the two new commanders that we have, Tariq and Sargon. He is still better than both of these commanders, even though Sargon is supposed to be an open field specialist. So what are the best pairings for Scipio Prime? We have a couple different options here, and I have kind of experimented with what I think works the best, and so I can kind of give my experience here as well. So lately I had been using Scipio Prime with Herald and I have had amazing progress with that pairing. I think this is a very undervalued pairing that a lot of people don't really use, but honestly, it gives amazing feedback. It, it gives really, really good kills. It's tanky, it has a lot of punch, it has instant proc damage, very, very solid pairing. But the number one pairing for infantry right now is going to be the good old Guan Yu and Scipio. So obviously you're going to have Guan Yu as your primary because you can't really have him as a secondary because you're losing, you know, half your attack. So you need to have your Guan Yu as primary and your Scipio as secondary. So if you are only going to run one infantry march right now, that is going to be what you're going to run. You're going to run the Guan Yu and Scipio Prime. That is by far the best option you're going to have available. If you are coming into Season of Conquest and you only have enough sculptures to expertise one commander, and you don't have enough to expertise, obviously, Guan Yu and Scipio Prime, then I would still want you to focus on Scipio Prime. And then as your secondary, we're going to go out of infantry here. And as your secondary, you are 100% going to be using Metmed. If you are short on sculptures and you only have enough to expertise one infantry commander, Metmed is going to be your secondary. And the reason why is because he is given through gold keys and so you don't have to spend a lot of gems for him and just at 5511 he is going to be a very 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 solid secondary for your Scipio. Obviously I did just come out with the video on Metmed versus Honda. Honda is a viable secondary for your Scipio. However like I said before if you are short on gold heads Honda is not going to be the one that you want to go for. You want to make sure you're prioritizing the meta marches such as Scipio, Boudicca Prime, Zuge, Nevsky, and Joan Prime. Those are the top five commanders in the game right now. So you want to make sure you are prioritizing those five commanders before focusing on second tier commanders such as Honda or Metmed. So obviously you're going to have Scipio Prime as your primary commander. And then if you don't have enough sculptures to make a secondary, or if you don't have enough to make a primary in this case, then go for Metmed as your secondary. If you're going to be running two infantry marches, and say you have all these commanders expertise, you have all the infantry available, what two pairings should you really be going for? Because there's a lot of different options here. We have a lot of different infantry commanders. If you're going to be running two infantry marches, I think there are two very obvious answers to this. The number one option is going to be using Guan Yu with Sargon. So you're going to bring Sargon in the mix. You could use him at 5550 or you can expertise him. Having him at 5551 is not very good. You want to make sure you either don't have this last skill unlocked or you have him fully expertise. That's kind of how he needs to be used. So you're going to run Guan Yu and Sargon. And for Guan, you can run him at 5155 or expertise. In my case, I have him at 5245 because I did use quite a bit of skill resets and this is the best I could have gotten. And so without having to put more gold heads into him, 
I just stuck him at 5245 because I'm not losing a ton of value here. I'm losing 5% attack, 3% march speed, and 200 healing factor. So it's not really that big of a deal. But obviously, you would prefer to have him 5155 five, five, rather than uh, what I have him right here. Or if you have an expertise, that's solid as well because you're going to get this great expertise skill. But you're going to be running Guan Yu and Sargon. And then as your second march, you're going to be running Scipio Prime and Tarek. And the reason why is because Tarek is a really, really solid secondary for Scipio. He adds a ton of punch. He has a huge active skill damage of 2200 damage factor. And he also deals tons more damage to cavalry, which you really need in the open field because you're going to have way more cavalry in the open field than infantry. On top of that, you have lots of defense here. Um, and he is also viable for rallies. And so if you are a rally lead, this is an even bigger bonus if you can have him as an open field and a rallier. But like I said before, this is just for open field, but he is still a very solid secondary to Scipio Prime. And like I said before, another option for Scipio Prime here would be Herald. So if you wanted to go for the Herald instead, this would be another awesome option that you could use for your Scipio Prime using Scipio with your Herald rather than Scipio Tarek. So if you wanted to go for Scipio Herald, I think that would be just as good as Scipio Tarek. But to sum that up, if you were running two infantry marches, you're gonna be running Guan Yu and Sargon, and then you're also gonna be running Scipio and Herald or Scipio and Tarek. Next year, we wanna talk about three infantry marches. So if you are a mega infantry player and you're only running infantry or you have majority of infantry, you can run three different pairings here. So if you are running three infantry marches, and like I said before, just pretend that we have all these commanders expertise, so we have everything to choose from. So if you have three infantry marches that you are trying to use, so the first pairing I would say would be Guan Yu and Leo. I think this is still a good march. It's not the best march, but if you are going with three marches, you kind of have to diversify a little bit. So I would say Guan Leo is what you'd go for there. Next here, we would go Scipio with Sargon. I think this is still a really, really great march. You have that AOE from Scipio pairing with that Sargon debuff. And then finally, I would probably use Pakal and Herald. And those would be the three infantry marchers I would use. And honestly, I would not recommend, even as an infantry main player, I would not recommend going more than three infantry marches just because the depth of commanders is not really that big right now in terms of what is really usable in the open field. I mean, you could throw in Flavius, you could throw in Tarek again. You could throw in Richard or Constantine, but there's not that great. And so I would say I would limit the amount of just decent marches you're going to have in the field. You want to have something that packs a punch or something that does a lot of debuffing, a lot of shielding. And with infantry, you just don't have a lot of depth there. Versus like cavalry, which we will come out with a guide on cavalry as well. With cavalry, you have a little more viability with open field marches because it's a lot more open field focused but with infantry you just don't have that flexibility and so like i said before if you're running one infantry march you're gonna be running guan yu and scipio if you are running two infantry marches you're gonna be running guan yu and sargon and scipio and herald or scipio and Tarek. and then if you're running three infantry marches you're gonna run guan yu and leo you're gonna run scipio and sargon and then you're going to run Pakal and Herald. So those would be the three marches, the two marches, and the one march of infantry that you should be specializing in terms of your commander depth. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, let me know down below in the comments if you want to see more on equipment, on different commanders, on different types of troops. Let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see in the future, and I'll be sure to make a video on that. Thanks for checking out the video today, and I'll see you later.